One of the ways in which we help to train and form clergy towards ordination is our diocesan-based training program, which we affectionately know as the DTP. That program is coordinated by our ministry educator, Sarah Park, and recently the DTP has made a pilgrimage to the north to some of the places of our beginnings as a church. Um, today we're here in the Selwyn Library, and uh, it's a place that tells some of the story of our beginnings. Behind us in the back of the shot, you'll be able to see a photo of the first Bishop of New Zealand, Bishop Selwyn, and his uh, crest, his, uh, his uh, coat of arms. Well, Sarah, I hope you might be able to tell us a little bit about what you guys got up to while you were uh, making your way around Northland the other week. Sure. So the DTP is running on a three-year cycle, and once in every cycle we make the pilgrimage to the north. Barry Graves, who is known to many people around the diocese, co-facilitates with me, and so he was there along with six of our seven students. We also brought with us Alan Davidson as our resident historian who took us from site to site and was able to draw from his incredible volume of historical knowledge uh, tidbits of history that brought the thing alive. So we began on a Saturday morning, the first Saturday in March, at Oihi. We went to Rangihaua and uh, made our way down to the Marsden Cross. It was a glorious day and that was for some of the students their first time there. From there we went to Kirikiri, and, but not to the stone store or Kemp House, not the places you would normally go to. We went to Hongi Hika's Pass site, which looks back over the basin towards Kirikiri, and that is another significant uh, part of our history. From there we trekked on to Paihia and Pakaraka, where we heard the stories of the Williams, Henry and Marianne, and we concluded our Saturday at Waimati North. Then, early on Sunday morning, we jumped on the ferry, another glorious Bay of Islands day, and we worshipped with the good people of Russell. Uh, and their hospitality was outstanding, as it always is. So it was a, a marvellous, marvellous weekend, and just great to have Alan with us to be able to bring that history alive for our students. Yeah, I'm sure for a lot of those students, it would have been their first time being able to see uh, many of those sites, certainly uh, Oihi is one mm. that people often haven't been to, mm. uh, and the opportunity to see them in a pilgrimage mm. kind of style mm. uh, is always a wonderful experience. Mm. Well, as Sarah said, there are seven students in our training program uh, this year. Please hold them in your prayers, along with those who are, are preparing for ordination uh, through work at St John's College, and all, in fact, in our diocese who seek to offer ministry to God's people.